Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! So I've been looking for things I could do at my house and I've been seeing a lot of people customizing their iPhones, iPads, basically all the Apple products and I want to follow the trend too. So I searched around the house and these are what I found. An iPhone 10, an iPad, and a MacBook Pro. I will be customizing these three products today. So how should I customize them? Hmm. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I don't have any designs in my mind right now, so I wanna go with the flow. I'll see. So today we're going to be customizing Apple products. So let's get started. First, I'm going to be working on my iPhone. So, what to draw? After a lot of thinking, I decided to go with the Ghibli series. Any Ghibli lovers? Oh, and by the way, I am not customizing on my iPhone, like directly on it. Instead, I got some cases for all my products, so I'm going to be customizing on them. Well, like, I know a lot of people have been painting directly on the phone. But I like switching my cases and having new designs and well, I don't want to ruin my phone if anything goes wrong. So I decided to use a case. I'm just not rich enough to replace everything when something goes wrong. Also, I'm so sorry. I know everyone has been giving out the customized products, but like, I just, I don't, <laughs> I just can't be giving out random iPhones to random people. Hopefully, maybe in the future, for now, please. Let me just use these myself. And so I'm just painting a black layer inside the case. To be honest, I probably could have just bought a black case, but I didn't have any design in mind till now. So I didn't know I would be needing a black case. And yes, I'm painting inside the case. I thought that would make it look better than painting everything on the outside. And speed dry. I'm using a hair dryer to dry it faster because I didn't want to wait. I have two more to go and it was going to take a very long time if I had to wait for it to air dry. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys what I was making. I decided to make it into No Face or Kaonashi in Japanese. He's from Spirited Away, my favorite, favorite, favorite Ghibli movie of all time. No debate. Although there are a lot of second places in my opinion, Spirited Away is definitely my favorite. I'm just using Posca paint pens to paint on the face. First, I was going to leave some space for the eyes and mouth. But then I was like, nah, let me just fill it all up. And then I went for the second layer. Posca paint pens are very easy to use, but it takes a while, a little longer than normal paint for it to completely dry. So see that? See that black and white fusing together? It needs a bit more time to dry. And I'm going to quickly add in the details and voila, the first case is complete. Next up, I'm going to customize my iPad case. Well, I actually don't have an iPad yet, but I'm currently thinking of getting one in the future, most likely the 11 inch one. So that's the case I got today. Wait, 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 ASMR. Okay, so what to draw? While I love a lot of Ghibli movies, I decided to go with Ponyo for this one. I wanted to make a very ocean-like background where Ponyo is from. And have you guys seen this abstract painting technique where you make a few dots of different colors and then blend it in all together? Well, I've always been wanting to try it, so I decided to try out that technique for the first time in my life on an iPad case. So here I made a lot of dots. And oh, let me flip the paper over because it's getting a little bit dirty. I don't want the background to ruin the aesthetic of blending the colors in together. And here I go. It was very fun blending in the colors, but I had to be careful because since I'm painting on the inside, the back is what's going to look on the front. Am I making sense? Very poorly describing, but basically the front is not going to look exactly like how I'm painting on the back. So I need to flip it back and forth to see how the front is actually going to look like. Again, I'm painting on the inside of the case because I just think it looks better. And since I'm not going to be touching inside the case as much, I thought it was going to last longer. I mean, I'm going to put varnish on top at the end, but still I feel like it's going to be safer. 
but it's totally up to you if you want to paint it in the inside or out. By the way, I think I totally used too much green. Little goes a long way. I ended up adding more blue to kind of cover everything up. Then I flipped it over and wiped off any random paint. Now that the base is ready, we are ready to paint Ponyo, the main character. I'm just mixing to make her skin color. And here I go, I'm just going in with the paint, no outline or rough draft. I would do a rough draft when it becomes more complicated, but to me it was easier without any outlining for this project, so I just went in. I'm just going to paint Ponyo on the front, nothing too complicated. I love Ponyo, she's so cute, so adorable, she melts my heart every time. By the way, what is your favorite Ghibli character? I'm going to add in the hair, her body, oh and then I used the white Posca paint for her eyes. And for her face, I used something called a juice paint. These are basically the same thing as Posca paint pens, just a different brand. But I really like this brand because it has a lot more colors, like colors Posca paint pens don't have. They have metallic, like pastelish colors, just a bit more colors. So if you like Posca paint pens, and if you can't find the right color, maybe you can try looking at juice pens. I really like them. And with the same brown juice pen, I did the outlines. I didn't use black because I thought black was going to be a little too strong, I guess. It's just preference. I wanted to have a very soft look. looking great. And with a white pen, I decided to add some jellyfish. I wanted to make it look more like the ocean, like she's inside the water. So I added some bubbles here and there, and my second case is complete. This comes with a screen protector as well. Nice. Okay, so on to my last case. And this one is for my MacBook Pro. And what should I draw? Okay, so I have this blue sheet on the bottom just so it looks better on camera, but whatever. I wanted to save it for my next project, but there's paint everywhere. I've already flipped it over. I'm going to throw it out anyways, so I decided to draw a sketch onto it. For my last case, I decided to go with Totoro, but not Totoro, the cat from Totoro. I mean, I like Totoro, but I feel like there's a lot of Totoro stuff out there. I don't really need to customize it, I could buy it if I want to, but the cat bus is a bit more rare. I just wanted to make it special, so I decided to go with the cat bus. So after I sketched onto the blue sheet, I went over it with the juice pen, just outlining it very carefully. Let me take away this sheet because it's kind of in the way now. And so how does it look? Oh, before I forget, thank you guys so much for sending me your drawings. For those who don't know, I promised you guys I will be drawing your original characters for 24 hours. I don't know when, but probably in like a few weeks. So until then, I will be accepting your drawings through my Instagram. And seriously, I've gotten thousands of drawings. I love all of them. Thank you guys so much. But I'm really sorry, I cannot respond to each and every one of you. I want to, but there's just too many. So please understand, if I'm not replying to you, it doesn't mean I hate you. I just can't respond. So yes, I'm still accepting, and I can't wait to see your drawings. Okay, back to the video. Like all the other cases, I'm using both sides. I'm just flipping it back and forth to color in some spaces. I think it kind of looks cool that way too. Like, I painted the white of the eyes on the back, so it looks like there's more depth into the drawing. It's like layering, kind of. So I think it looks so cool. And with a black Posca paint pen, I added in the outlines. I also added in the small details, like the mice on top. Did you guys know that there are mice on the top of the bus? As like headlights? They're so cute! And they have like purple eyes and purple lights. So I'm just adding those on with Posca paint pens. By the way, the triangle thing he's on, it's supposed to be the roof. Like he's sitting on top of the roof. I'm going to flip it over again and paint in the sky. Now that I'm looking at it, I think I should have gone with a lighter color, 
I wanted to make it dark like the night sky, but I feel like it's too dark. And it made the drawing overall look very dark, which isn't my type. So yes, I would redo it if I could, but once done, it's very hard to change because normally if you don't like it, you can paint it over and cover things up. But this is painted on the inside of the cover, so you can't really like paint it over it anymore unless you wipe everything off. So once done, it's done. Well, it's not bad, so I went with it. I added some stars to make it sparkly, and my last case is complete. So after a very long time, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Oh, I forgot to say, I put varnish on top at the very end. And this is how it turned out. What do you guys think? I think I really like how my ponyo case turned out. I really like the ocean. I like mermaids and stuff. I'm really happy how it turned out. So today was yet another challenge. I really liked it. I had a lot of fun doing this. I want to do it again. Maybe next time with different characters. Maybe like Kiki or like Howl from the Moving Castle. Oh, I love them all. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, please subscribe and comment below. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!